Last one, please. Yo, that's freaking crazy. Look at that. 19 fossils, and I haven't even finished the hour yet. About to be done though, but damn, dude, that's that's insane. It's definitely possible to get like 20 an hour on a lucky run, but yeah, that's a lot of kudos right there. I have finally collected all of the fossils that I need to get 180 kudos. I think the whole process, like from learning the what kind of method to like, you know, getting really used to it and getting all the fossils, probably took. I would say 5 hours or something, maybe up to 6, but it's more like 5 hours, so it's not that bad at all to get the kudos. So it's time to just yeah build the last few pieces and look at the 180. So now that I do have the 180 kudos, I can finally access the Volcanic Mine for the music piece. And there are a few other places in Fossil I definitely haven't covered yet for music pieces, but they don't require anything, so I just you know go there. So I'll get them all done at the same time, but the Volcanic Mine though, I'll definitely be actually using it at some point to unlock the ultra compost spell pretty sure the new wyverns have a music piece yeah it does perfect just unlock the one that i was looking for i'm definitely going to be trying these out once again when i get them for slayer taz you know during the gargoyle boss grind hopefully next week when it comes out i also remember that there is an underwater area so that's probably gonna you know give me a good music piece and luckily i don't actually have to wear those uh helmets and stuff but it's recommended or something but I'm just here for the music piece so I think I've probably unlocked it though not sure which one it is but definitely unlocked it and this is what the whole grind was for to be able to do the volcanic mine method of mining and you gotta pay to go in every time I guess but eh, no problem I got a lot so I should have the music piece unlocked and very soon I'm gonna try to learn to do this so I could get the points for the Ultra Combos. It has already come out. I thought it was coming out next week, but it's already coming out this Thursday. So that's amazing. And uh, let's just test and see if I already have it, everything unlocked. Yeah, awesome. It didn't say though, but definitely being able to teleport means I unlocked all my music piece once again. All right, holy shit. That was such a close call. I think the lag for making this like three times as hard as it needs to be, but Let's see here, oh, of course, Torn Prayer Scroll, you know, to rub it in. Alright, let's go check it out. Okay, so that is 60 Torn Prayer Scrolls, 61 including the one I used. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of toilet papers. Alright, haven't done Corp in a bit, so I'm gonna try to get a 2R session going on. First kill, past 600, Pure Essence. Onyx Bolts, yes, beautiful man. That's very good motivation right there. 1.5 mil cha-ching to the bank account. Woohoo! Alright. A little bit close, but we good. Okay, that's 12 kills. One uh, decent drop, which was the Onyx Bolt out of that, so... Okay, so... Apparently... Actually, so I checked the today's update, right? And they apparently uh, scaled the points for the jury room, so... Usually the crystal gave 1.4k for me when I solo, but apparently it's 2k now, so let me see if that's true. It is! Holy shit, fucking flat 2k. That is so good. Wow, even better than before. I thought they were gonna nerf it, but I guess not. Damn, bro, what the fuck? I didn't know I was at 8,000 dragon arrows. I haven't been paying attention to this count, but yeah, damn, dude. Can't wait to get a twisted bow, you know, to use those, but yeah. We can dream, we can dream. Uncut Onyx for the first kill. Oh my god, dude. Seriously? Well, that just recovered the one I used to make my regen bracelet a few days ago. Nice. Trying to get some skills, but hey, okay. Damn, there it is. 85 agility. God dang. I totally forgot about that level. But yo, 2175 total too. And of course, now if I boost, I can actually do the uh, Arty course. So... But yeah, otherwise, one more level to go for the uh, Kelphite Queen shortcut, and then if I get to 87, you know, sometime in the future, then I'm gonna hit up that Arty course. It's gonna be so good XP and so good marks. I've had this in the bank for like ages, so let's check this out. Please, something cool, man. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Jungle Demon Mass. I'm pretty sure I already have this, but eh, it is something cool, though. I'm not gonna lie.
Long bone. Wow, dude. I, I get these all the time. Holy shit. I did hit 1100 KC, though. So that's crazy. I think at this point, I would have probably thought I would have gotten all the items by now, but nope. Still missing three items. So we just keep going then. Keep going. Awesome. Nice. Okay, so two more thieving levels to go guys and honestly I was gonna rush for 91 this week But dude the gargoyle boss just isn't out yet All right, so that update has been delayed so much at this point I guess the next best prediction is gargoyle boss next week Thursday gonna just occasionally work on this and you know, we'll get the last two But 500k to 90 and then we'll have another level 90 skill dude that's gonna be nice. Almost all my skills is coming into I think 90 plus, which is good. So you see this 11 mil stack? I say a decent amount is from thieving, of course, but bulk of it's probably from alking on explosives when I was doing a Jody for marks of grace. But yeah, it's time to basically spend a lot of it again. I'm gonna check my kingdom because it's been a long time actually. Always gotta go and get some runes, of course, for that PVM grind with that money. So I'm good on money for like I would say at least two months just because you know stuff like Inferno is already done so let's uh, go ahead and collect the resources yeah that is a really good stack so I have not updated my raids progress chart in a while I guess the last time I updated was when I did 1012 raids so I'm at 1100 and what I've gone ever since that is Unfortunately, an extra thorn axe, so that makes it my seventh one overall. But I do now also have a placeholder giant hunter crossbow, so that is nice. And that totals my raids items to 49 in 1100 raids, approximately. And of course, we still have the three items I'm still missing the buckler, the ancestral bombs, and the twisted bow. So I'm working on a little bit of Herbler, which of course contributes to the 99 Herbler goal, but uh, specifically, I just collected about a thousand Snapegrass, so I can make a thousand prayer potions right there. I only have about a hundred prayer pots left, and I might as well just make one thousand. And I should be good on those for PVM for quite a while. Alright, here we go. The first Herbler level, actually just four more for the 99, but... I hope to start grinding out Herbler very soon. I mean, this Gargoyle boss, yo, it better come out on Thursday, man. I'm itching to do some, you know, Kelfi Queen tasks. I almost have everything ready to go. But overall, in the grand scheme of things for this big boy Herbler uh, 99 goal grind, we got four more levels to go, 911k to the next one, and an overall, it looks like 3.3 mil Herb XP to get, so. All right, wrapping up the 1,000 pair of potions. So I will be all set. Mainly I use this at Corporal Beast. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much all set for uh, probably hundreds of more KCs. So now that I got the 85 agility recently, I might as well just go ahead and complete the RD diaries, you know, up to elite. And one of the things I needed, of course, was to cook myself a manta ray that I catch. Oh, lucky for me, I got a bunch. I did have a lot of these before, but I didn't even remember that this was a diary requirement, so... Oh yeah, yeah, free space! Yes, let's go! See, that's what I was waiting for. I don't have to actually wait the whole thing. Alright, I just need to find somebody to barrage. Oh, I see him. And actually, Castle Wars is quite lively. Definitely uh, play some games if you want to relive that nostalgia. Alright, that should be the lap completed. First time at the Artie course in any of my account. Let me backtrack and talk a bit more about the Artie Agility course. So I plan to do it at 87 so that, you know, I could get a bigger boost out of my summer pies. But actually, somebody told me that with good confidence that they only use around 100 to like 150 summer pies. Boosting from 85 all the way to 88. Agility and honestly that's so little because in my bank already I have about a hundred plus summer pies So I could easily just get to 87 using the pies I already have and not even have to worry about making them and they're pretty easy to make anyways 
So actually, I'm going to start doing the RD course as early as 85. It's going to be pretty fun, and I got the 25%, you know, extra marks anyway, so it's lit. I can just do it here, right? Yes, all the task is completed. Amazing. Now I can retrieve the uh, sexy RD Cloak 4. Let's go and do that. There we go. Mm. Honestly, though, RD Cloak 4 does look pretty nice, but... uh. I believe the agility course gives me 25% more marks, so that's one of the big boy things that uh, I actually care about that eventually I needed to do for the agility grind anyways. And there, the other one, what is it? Yes, unlimited teleports to Bert, and Bert will automatically deliver sand. So three pretty useful rewards. But yeah, I mean slowly but surely I'll probably have all these diaries done just because, you know, as I level, I'll have all the level requirements unlocked eventually. First of the day? Nope. 11, 11 though. Elite Clue Scroll, alright. Fury Ornament Kit, please. Or not. Alright, alright. At least they're super quick now, so. Take the Aux. Uh, this is fighting a losing battle. I can still pull this off though, so... Alright, the burn has basically killed my prayer. So, it's up to me to just tank the rest of this. Alright, we can do this though. That RNG sucks though, hell yeah bro. Got him though. Oh my god, are you serious? Fuck you, Jagex. Fuck you, man. Are you fucking serious, man? Had the most fucking bullshit RNG at, at this old man. I fucking get a Dragon Thorax with this clutch ass kill. Seriously? I mean, I'm pissed off at RNG. It's not a Jagex thing, but. Three most recent fucking items. Dragon Throne Axe, mate? Nowadays, I usually get pissed off when the servers, you know, just turn to doo doo, but honestly, I haven't been, like, pissed off at raids itself in such a long time. <laughs> oh man, that 8th Dragon Throne Axe really, really triggered me for sure. Especially getting them so close to each other in recent times, man. God, how does that happen? It's no, no big deal. Moving on. Come back for some more raids. Nothing's gonna stop me from getting this twisted bow at this rate. Uh, anyway, it's gonna be wrapping up today's video here. Uh, hopefully, in the next episode, I will actually have the gargoyle boss. Like seriously, it's not my fault. At first, it was gonna be like mid September, and now it's like late October apparently for gargoyle boss. So hopefully, we see that in there. I'm gonna try to also unlock the super combo spell as well, and of course, I'm gonna keep working on PVM and hopefully get the rest of those items I desire so much. I'm definitely going to bet my money on next episode being quite interesting for sure. Anyways, if you are new to the series and you want to stay up to date, feel free to subscribe. But other than that, I hope to see you guys soon with another video in less than a week. We're gonna try to go for that once again. Alright, thanks for watching guys, thanks for your patience, and I will see you guys soon with another video. Take care.